Wipe me down. Of course, being a music lover, big, deep R&B fan, it's just some certain people that's a staple in my collection. And who I truly and dearly love, uh, one of the first groups I remember falling in love with was In Vogue. Y'all know them, the Funky Divas. So, of course, being that we have to be creative around these parts, I had to reach out to my homie Alex at Miles Ahead Entertainment and uh, see if I can score a quick phone interview with my girl Terry Ellis in celebration of their 30th year anniversary of when the debut album dropped. He came through. So now I can come through and share this information with y'all and this interview. So right now, I want y'all to check out my phone interview with my girl Terry Ellis of the legendary In Vogue Lego. Hi, Roger. How are you? Hey, Terry. How's it going? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Got Today is our 30th. I'm excited. It's the 30th. 30 years since the release of your debut on the scene now. I know it's been reissued and expanded. Now, did you think that In Vogue was not only going to still be here, but still a household name this long in the game? No. You know, I mean, of course, you know, we had hoped and, and, and prayed <laughs> for the longevity, <laughs> but, you know, you just, you never know. You know what I mean? So right. um, we are just standing in gratitude today. We are very grateful. That is what's up. Now, what I love most about you ladies is the fact that let's not even play games. We know you're all beautiful. <laughs> you're all very <laughs> beautiful. You. But, you, but you sold us your on your voices. You know, I know the 90s sold a lot of sex appeal and just like the industry does now, but was using the Thank voices you. as the sale pitch intentional or what did that just kind of happen? You know, I think it just kind of happened. Um, I think it just kind of happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love and, and thank you for the compliment. Oh, no problem. Now, I, I knew that from way back when I was young, so I already knew. <laughs> it was not a game. Now, I do know uh, I revisited the album when it dropped uh, this morning, of course. I, I always play it when I get on my In Vogue binges, but, like, live part of me, don't go. All those records hold the test of time. Now, when the album was constructed, did you guess that you guys would be set in trends? let alone, like, the standard for girl groups? No, we didn't. You know, we were just doing what we loved. That's, that's, that, was, that was the main part of our creative process was to just get in there and just do what we loved. And then, we, you know, we were being directed by some really, really great producers, um, Thomas McElroy and Denzel Foster. Um, you know, they, they, just, they already had an idea and concept and some great, great music. And I think just all together we were like lightning in a jar, you know. And uh, so we just got in the studio and we just we just played, you know. We just we didn't feel any inhibitions and um, we just uh, let our guards down and we just played in creativity. That is what's up now. I do know you, you guys have a podcast now in addition to releasing – Re-releasing the debut album, you have a podcast that you're launching. Uh, what was the idea? Whose idea was that to kind of launch the podcast? And then what do you hope to achieve with it? Um, our publicist, uh, Sheila Eldridge, it was her idea. And, um, and it was really cool because, you know, I, I always say that, you know, every night in our dressing room is like a, you know, when we're getting ready for a show, it's like we're doing a freaking podcast. Um, right. And people could see us and hear us it, it would just be hilarious um so uh we we weren't sh too sure about it at first but the day that we um the day that we did it we were convinced that you know what this is what we should be doing it's what we do in our dressing room anyway you know just right. chop it up and and have fun and and just talk and communicate and we loved the idea of being able to be so intimate with um all of our supporters that's what's up. Well, the debut album with Platinum. Let's not even hold the flowers on that one. Let's give them up for that, too. <laughs> is there any song that you feel is kind of underrated from the debut album, like one that we kind of probably overlook as fans? Yes, got to be a part of me. I love that record. <laughs> That's one of my favorites, and, and, and because of the message, and the message right. is so relevant today and is so needed today. Um, I, I might have to highlight that one today, especially you know, given given the times that we're in right now, we all need to 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 know and understand that we're a part of each other and and to unite and um, to just band together so we can get through this. Right, 
And speaking of that, first of all, let me just say I love every album you guys have released, even Soul Flower, Electric Cafe. I know people kind of put those under the rugs, but I love all these records. Uh, I probably listen to I'm Good like every other day. I'm not even going to lie. Ah, thank you. That's one of my <laughs> favorites. That. That's definitely one it. of my favorites. Well, how you made it adjusting to this pandemic and the quarantine? Because I know you guys still actively tour. So how are you actually adjusting to this this new normal that we're dealing with right now? Well, we are definitely following the order because, you know, we, we understand that um, it's important to to um, to be at home so we can be a part of the solution and not the problem. You know, with mm-hmm. people piddling around outside and just, you know, just – just not following following the order, and um, um, so we're doing that. And for me personally, um, I am adjusting quite well because we work so much. We are never, mm-hmm. ever home. So for me to ha- have this time being at home, I'm able to catch up on all the things that I can't do when I'm gone because I'm gone so much. And, right. um, and so I'm using this time wisely to, to – you know, to rest and to organize and clean up and, you know, just just focus. I think that was and almost I'm, I'm part of a and, plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm 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 taking advantage of it. I, I said I'm gonna make some some lemonade out of lemons. You know. <laughs> I, I hear you. Well, I saw you guys live at Atlanta Funk Fest a year or two ago. I used usually go around my birthday time, and this was like one of the biggest moments in my life. I'm like, I get to see in Vogue live. Finally, I know 30 years is a long span in a career time. And it's like every, yeah. you know, every day there's, there's a new fan. And how do you adjust, I guess, in a sense with catering to those fans that have been with you since day one and then reintroducing yourself over and over again with new eyes and new ears as you travel around the country? I think, um, well, first of all, it's such a blessing to be able to, you know, that we're able to keep doing what we've always loved to do, you know, 30 years later. Um, and that's because of our fans, you know, everyone mm-hmm. that um, started out with us, that's grown with us, who who has continued to support us, us and just they've just been diehard. And so, you know, it's because of them that we're able to keep doing this. And um, And so it's been fun. Uh, just doing what we do. We don't try and, and, and do anything uh, different um, because we know that um, people love what we did. And so right. it's been really cool being able to um, continue to do that and to reintroduce it to um, new fans. It, it's been really, really cool. And, we, you know, we always have um, a lot of fans uh who are way younger than us who come to the shows and say, "Oh my gosh, my my this is my first concert and I, I grew up listening to you guys cuz my parents listened to you and wow, right. you get, this is this is really really cool." So that's been fun. <laughs> that's been a lot of fun. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, and, well, and I like to say cool I grew too. up with you as opposed to, I grew up with you as opposed to growing up to you. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> right. And it's it's been really cool because it means that our music has stood the, the test of time and that we haven't had to to change or to try and reconfigure or conform to what's out there today because it's not who we are. Right. That's you know, awesome. So it's, that's been really, really cool. Well, I love you guys dearly. I do thank you for taking the time to speak with me and out the box today. But before I let you go, I want to let you know that Too Gone Too Long <laughs> easily ah! losing my mind. These are just a few of the records of oh, the yeah. But like oh, I, when yeah. I go on my in vogue lifting bins, I promise you it's all about the vocals and you are some singing ladies. Thank you. So congratulations. <laughs> uh much oh, my success God. Thank continue you so much. to you guys. Oh no problem. Love thank you me. dearly, dearly, dearly. And I thank you so much. <laughs> and you. you just take care of yourself, okay? Okay, you too. Thanks. Uh, all right. Thank you and congratulations Bye. again.